Hey guys, on today's video I'm going to show you the process of creating a simple 3D animation in Cinema 4D. The process is quite simple and it is based on a video I saw recently by Fatu Tutorial Channel here on YouTube. The project file will be available to download through the link on the description but also on my Patreon page with all the other working files from my videos. So let's move to the tutorial. I open Cinema 4D and I will add the ready scene like a light box. I have a previous tutorial which shows how to create this photographic studio scene if you'd like to check it. I will include this scene on the project file but it is also available to download separately with the rest of my project on Gumroad. All the links are available in the description. I click on the file tab on the top menu and then merge. I find the lightbox file and then I click OK. This file includes the background but also a source of lighting. First thing is to add a cube, so I go to the object icon, I click and hold and I select a cube. I will change the size to all three dimensions to 10 cm. Then I click the fillet button and I change the radius to 2 cm and the subdivision to 5. Next, I copy and paste the cube by using Command C to copy and Command V to paste. If you're using Windows, just use Ctrl C and Ctrl V. I will make three copies. I change the radius of the second cube to 20 cm. Let's move it to the side so it's visible. Then the third cube, I will make it 15 cm. For the 4th cube, I will keep it 10 cm too. Now click on the MoGraph tab at the top menu and select Cloner. Select all the cubes and add them to the cloner carefully with a little arrow on the cursor pointing down. Next, select Cloner and make sure the mode is on Grid Array. Set the count to 9 on all 3 boxes. The mode should be Endpoint, unless the objects will be too spaced out. And make the size 200 cm. Now, with the Cloner selected, I go to MoGraph tab again. Go to Effector and select Random. Then go to Parameter, check the Scale and the Uniform Scale. On the Scale Size add minus 0.5. Check Rotation 2 and change them all to 360. Now let's add a new shape, let's take a sphere. Move it a bit to the left. Then right click on the cloner, go to simulation tag and click rigid body. Go to collision tab just to double check that the tag is applied to children and let's change it to that and individual elements to all. Next, go to Force tab and change Follow Position to 5. Then go to the Sphere object, right click, go to Simulation Tags and select Collider Body. So if you go to the timeline and play, you will see this random motion. Now go again to the Sphere and right click, go to Animation Tags and select Vibrate. Then increase the timeline to something like 600. With the first icon on the sphere selected, check the enable position and change the amplitude to 300 for all three boxes. This is how far the big object will move and the frequency to 2 which is how fast it will move. 
Okay, so the lighting is based on the scene I added earlier, but what if I would like to add an extra light or a different style of lights? I go to lights and select a new one, or any other if you prefer. Then I will apply materials to the objects. I will not go through the process of creating a material now as I have a previous tutorial for it. The link will be on the description as well. I click and drag the material to each object. And now the animation is ready. Let's have a look. Okay, so next click on the render settings. It would be nice to add ambient conclusion and global illumination but they will slow down the render process a lot if your computer is not very fast, so I'm going to skip this for now. On the anti-aliasing I will leave it to geometry because I need the render to be a bit quick. On save I will use a JPEG format. Choose the location from here. On output change the frame rate to all frames. And that was it. All you have to do now is to click the render button to start rendering the images. By the way, the exported files will be 600 images. That depends on how many frames you have chosen for your timeline. In order to convert them into a video, there are many software that can do that. I usually use Premiere Pro. It is quite a simple process, but if you're not familiar with it, let me know in the comments below and I will do a quick tutorial for it. Thanks for watching, let me know if you have any questions, until next time, like, share and subscribe. Bye.